Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another McFarland Toys video. This is my time out his February 25th through 27th, 2022 Winter Showcase Reveals. Day one, day two, and day three recaps. So this was his 2022 Winter Showcase thought he was going to be showing off a lot of his McFarlane toys, but he stuck with just two brands. So let's get into what he actually stuck with. And start off looking at day one first, where he actually started off revealing Wave 3 Spawn figures. That was on February 25th, 2022. Everybody, Todd McFarlane, let's talk about all things Spawn. Let's talk about Wave 3. Got some of the cool characters here from the comic books that are going to come into plastic form. We've got Hunt, we've got Overkill, We've got Spawn sitting on his throne, and we've got Ninja Spawn. Again, some of the cool stuff from the comic book. Let's take a closer look at them. Here's one I'm not supposed to show you. I only could show you the back. We'll get to that in another video. But Spawn on the throne, the thing that's cool about him, if you come in close here, is that we designed the cape so that when you put it on him, he can actually look like he's sitting in there. Uh, because you can't obviously have a piece of plastic going all the way up underneath him and have him sitting there. So we've created it in such a way that when he's sitting there, it looks like he's sitting on his cape. Uh, let's look at the gnarly overkill. Look at the face and the teeth on here. He's sort of a zombie superhero guy. I uh, want to make sure that he's nice and cool. And then one of the newcomers to the spawn world here, the haunt, right? He comes with his base. You get some of this cool gnarly weird stuff up on him he's got his haunt magic that's in there lots of articulation so if any of you guys are interested in the spawn toys and or comic books wave three coming your way with four new additions here one two three four and some secrets bye Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane here. Just want to tease everybody. It's been way, way, way too long since we did a Kickstarter. So we're coming back. I'm going to show you all the detail and all the glory, but just giving you a little bit of a tease of who it might be. There's a piece here. And just to show you how good the detail is going to be, I'm only going to show you a small piece, but this is the chest. Of our character so if you can guess which one it's going to be good on you we'll be revealing all of the figure and the new kickstarter coming soon so let's first start talking about the one he said he's not supposed to show us yet which looks from the back to be maybe medieval spawn so I'm wondering if this might be Todd's next Kickstarter, maybe. Uh, you can also see this chest plate here. I found this video, this picture on 20s International, so I'm not sure if that's going with that medieval spawn or not. But check that out. So what do you guys think about a medieval spawn? That'd be kind of cool looking. So let's talk about the five figures. Todd only showed us four of them, but there were five revealed and released today on pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store. If you haven't already done so, get on over to Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description card above and get these pre-orders in for all these spawn figures but here's the four that he showed off from his winter showcase you got your massive mega scale figure there spawn on his throne and a couple other figures but there are the five that are up for pre-order right now so first off let's talk about the spawn on his throne so you can tell his cape is actually shorter than usual now the reason for that is because he kind of built the cape into the throne there so that as you have spawn sitting on the throne the, the shoulders from the cape can actually kind of sit up on the throne as well making it look like it's kind of draping down off the throne while he's sitting on it so that's kind of neat so there's spawn from all angles with his shorter cape there and then no cape on there with the rest of the sides and in package from the side and the back beautiful artwork on the back there 
and from the front. So you can see that little peg hole there for the cape. You can see how it pegs into his back. And as he's sitting on the throne, you can see what he's talking about, where the cape looks like it's kind of draping down and out of the uh, back of Spawn there, out of the uh, throne. So next figure we have here is the Ninja Spawn. You see his swords, all his different weapons. Comes with the figure base as well. All four angles there. Got the green eyes, of course. And there's the package from all sides. So here we are with another one of McFarlane Toys mega scale figures. This massive figure for overt kill. Big old cyborg guy. You can see he's got a little tiny little figure base there as well. Got some bright colors there to him. Of course, you got the cyborg metallic body there. Them ugly teeth. One eye. One metallic eye. Got the figure stand there, like I said, he's standing on. Figure from the back. And here he is in package from the front and the back. Again, with the beautiful artwork that Todd does. And from the side. So here we are with the haunt figure. Very symbiote looking here. Look at those sharp teeth. That little circle thing right there in his chest and the kind of symbiote tentacles coming off of him. Figure stand. All angles. And the figure package from all sides. And then one that Todd didn't even talk about, another Raven Spawn. So he's got this little, I don't even know what you want to call it, staff with the axe on the top, figure stand, and the hook there too. From the back, the sides, and the front there. Really bright green eyes. And there's the package from all angles. So here are those day one reveals for Spawn Wave 3. Pretty cool looking figures there. So let's jump into day two of the Winter Showcase, which was February 26, 2022. And the reveals were from DC Multiverse and the Dark Knight's Metal stuff. And there was a little tease of some of something else here. So let's get into that. Let's see what Ty has to say first. Everybody, Todd McFarlane, day two of the Winter Showcase. We're going to show you a bunch of stuff. Day two is all about DC Direct and DC Multiverse, right? We're going to have lots of clips, lots of hints, lots of sneak peeks. Take a look at it. It's all cool. Oh, by the way, Batman movie coming. Get excited. Hey everybody, Todd McFarland here. I want to talk to you about some pre-order you can get on McFarland.com at this very minute. Let me see. I'm going to show you this up close. We've got three cool ones to show you. One is a Duke Thomas from the Dark Multiverse, right? This guy's pretty big and pretty beefy. If you can see it, get in a little bit close here. Right, get the big sort of cool helmet. We've got the axe. Looks like a guitar here. Uh, and he's pretty, he's pretty big. And then we have the infected, 22, otherwise known to all his geeks as the Batman who laughs in the Batman outfit. So uh, obviously he's got the ears and whatever else, but he's got all the cool colors, the lime color and whatever else. But then my favorite, my favorite, dun, 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 is the Joker Dragon. Now. He's in the package here. He's so big, we had to take him apart. He's actually even moved in my package here. Um, but if you get him and you put him together, booyah, this is what you get, right? Look at this. Look at that face. Shit, that's cool. Cool. All right? And he's big and he's long. Uh, you can see why we can't fit him in the box, because his tail is too big. And you can see his scale compared to these other characters here. So... All three of these here are on pre-order right now, McFarland.com. Go get it right now. It's no joke.
So check it out, check it out. Dorkside Toys leaked this picture before anybody else. Of course, the picture has been taken down since. We knew about the three here because Todd talked about them, but check it out in the background. Mega Scale, Man Bat, and Killer Croc. Heck yes. Those are awesome looking. I love what McFarlane revealed as well today with these other three figures, but the Mega Scales, I don't know when he's going to reveal them. I don't know where they're going to be released at, but those are, that's it. I'm finally in to McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. I've been skipping out on everything else because it was just random stuff, but they did the clay face. I was like, yeah, that's cool, but I don't have anything else DC. Now they got these two, and that is going to get me into the DC line now, just from my perspective. So the first one we have here that Todd talked about was the Joker Who Laughs Batman, the Infected, Dark Knight's Metal, Earth-22. So he, the Joker Who Laughs as Batman here. You can see him on his stand, a little close up there of him with his big old grin on his face, the utility belt, the cape with the rips and tatters in it, big old huge green batarang, the stand, the card, all four angles of him from front, back, and side. And the package from all sides as well. So Batman of Earth 22 infected Dark Knight's metal. So here we go with the Joker Dragon. This thing is very long. Uh, it's good to scale. You can see how Batman is actually on it right here. So you can tell it's actually a good scale. But there it is in package. They actually have to take the tail off of it to actually be able to fit it in the package. So you have to put that together when you get it. It's got a little stand there that it can fly on. There it is taken apart, so you can show you can put this, the tail right back on it. It's got the card, the stand, the articulated jaw there it looks like. The tail has that curve in to it. There it is from the back and from the side again. And then all angles of the package there. Also from Dark Knight's Metal. The Joker Dragon. All right, then we got from DC Multiverse, Duke Thomas from Dark Knight's Metal as well. Got that big old guitar slash axe right there that he's got as a weapon. His big old cape. He's got a thick torso to this guy. There's his card, his stand. There's that guitar again. There it is from the front and the sides. And then the back. You see the detail in that cape as McFarlane is always so so good at sculpting there. And there's the package. Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Batman Duke Thomas. And then also we got a unmasked Batman of Zuranara. Zuranra? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, this is only available as a gold label when you buy it as a bundle from McFarlane Toys website itself. That's the only way you can get this unmasked version of the Batman of Zurin Ra unmasked. So it is a McFarlane Toys store exclusive from Batman RIP. So that's pretty cool. So there's all three of the ones that Todd revealed today. Again, they are up for pre-order on places like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Dorkside Toys, McFarlane Toys, all those good spaces that you can purchase these products from. All right, everybody, Todd McFarlane, let's talk about DC Direct. These are some of the very first statues that we've done since we took over the contract and we're gonna walk through some of them here. Obviously, we've got Batman from the Batman movie. A couple cool things here. Gonna get a wire cape so you can put it in whatever pose you want. Make it as sort of flamboyant or as relaxed as you want. Gonna be a lot of that. And it's gonna come with two faces. It's just a magnet hole. You pull out one, you put in the other, boom, right? Clicks back in. Again, you wanna swap it back out, pull it out, put it back in. It's gonna look, so it's pretty simple, although I'm doing it from behind. Uh, we've got the Joker from, from the Purple Craze here. This is from my good friend, Greg Capullo's artwork. If you get in there close, you're gonna see that the face and the teeth 
the teeth were actually a separate piece that we put in uh, that actually slips in behind so it doesn't actually run into some of the paint to give a lot more realistic look to it. Uh, same with a couple tones on the hair. Um, and there's even textures on the actual jacket in and of itself. And then we've got obviously the Riddler to go and match up with Batman. Um, he's got his duct tape right here, pretty flexible. He's got his cool gas mask face, uh, a lot of dirt, a lot of texture on him. And so these are some of the very first statues coming from the DC Direct McFarland partnership. Hope you like them. So I love the fact that McFarlane has actually restarted the DC Direct slash DC Collectibles license that got shut down by AT&T with their Warner Brothers purchase. Uh, you can see here with the Batman and the Riddler, they are from the new Batman movie. Big old huge statues. The Batman actually has that swappable faceplate to mount that is magnetic. It also has the soft goods cape with wires in it, so that is pretty awesome. And then you also have that Greg Capullo smaller statue there of the Joker. Really nice. I'm loving the partnership that we have with DC Direct and McFarlane Toys and that we're actually able to continue on with the lines that we so much loved before they were shut down. Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane here. I want to introduce you to our newest line called Page Punchers. Remember at Page Punchers, right? You get a comic book. You get a figure, the figure articulates, I'll show you that in a minute, all for $9.99, right? Both of those for under $10. You got Black Adam, you got Flash, you got Superman, you got Batman, who doesn't like that? And you get a comic book, right? With, from some of the best creative people with the best characters in there. And look at this, the little characters here, look, we got the Flash, they all move. Look at this, the arms move. Right, both arms move, the head turns, right, the waist turns even, and both the legs turn. So you can actually move these guys around so they're not stiff. And if you consider a cape being articulated, then there's even another piece right here for Batman. So if you're looking for a good deal and you want to read and play with your favorite characters, Page Punchers, $9.99, go look for them. So I'm guessing these are going to replace the, the uh, Spin Masters possibly out there. Uh, you have your Batman, Superman, Flash, and Black Adam in this first four figures that he's showing off here. Three and three quarter inch size. Five slash six points of articulation if you count the waist. Uh, and then he tried to count the cape as articulation too. So for Batman and Superman you got, and uh, Black Adam I guess you got seven points of articulation if that's the case. Uh, but it also comes with the comic book as well. So I'm not sure where we're actually going to find these page punchers from DC Comics, but $9.99 each is what they're going to run. And it looks like, a, again, they're about three and three quarter inch scale for this McFarlane Toys page puncher. So let's jump into day three's reviews, which was February 27, 2022. And he stuck with DC Multiverse again. So that was kind of odd. As many properties as Todd has, you would think he would have you know, jumped into some of those other properties. But here we go. Let's check out what we got for day three and what Todd has to say. Hey everybody, Todd McFarland, we've got three more figures we want to reveal to you, unveil these three, and they're all for pre-order right now on McFarland.com. Let's take a look up close at what they look like here. Number one, if you like big figures, go to Croc. It's looking cool from the Arkham Asylum video game right here, right? Shoot, who doesn't like that? But he's all gnarly and he's big. If you take a look at the reference from the video game, they basically sent it to us. We basically use exactly what he wanted right there. Also, from the cool comic books, we've got Ghostmaker here. I think his costume, black and white, is really elegant looking. And I've always, and honestly, I've always been a big fan of people who have like helmets that seem like they don't have any eyes on them. I always, always thought those were cool. Uh, but some nice, sort of black and white and a little charcoal some stuff is shiny and some stuff is flat but he's looking good up here and last but not least my favorite of the bunch man bat so take a look at him he's looking good anyways there they are man bat 
Ghostmaker and Killer Croc, right? Pre-order it now, McFarland.com. Let's do it, dudes. All right, so there we go. We saw the leak yesterday. We knew Killer Croc and Man Bat were coming. We did not know about Ghostmaker, though. That was a surprise to us. But we knew about the other ones because of Dorkside Toys leaking the photo early yesterday. So thank you, Dorkside Toys, for giving us that leak and giving us some actual excitement because I wasn't really excited about the other figures from yesterday. They were cool, but not as exciting as the Killer Croc and the Man Bat. So day three ends up being DC Multiverse again. I thought he was going to expand it into some of his other lines that he does, but basically this whole weekend was about Spawn and DC Multiverse. So here is your Man Bat. They are up for pre-order. This guy is massive. I love this figure, and this has now jump, got me jumping in the DC Multiverse just to get the Batman Rogues Gallery. So thank you, Todd. I, I appreciate that. This is going to be one that will be jumping in my collection along with the Clayface and also the Arkham killer croc so whatever else you got with these basic rogues i will definitely jump in on these so here's your man back with the card and the base got his pants he's ripped out there out of there mouth wide open the wings spread wide there it is from the back and the sides you can see the fur on his back there pink in the ears figure from the front as well here it is from the package there. Look at that package artwork on the back there. Oh my gosh. DC Rebirth Man Bat. Man, I cannot wait for this. There it is from the side. And then we have our Killer Croc Batman Arkham Asylum game. This is amazing looking. I cannot wait for this mega scale. So again, he comes with the figure stand there, the card, as always with these DC Multiverse McFarlane toys. You see he's got the shackles on his neck and the ankles there. Got the rope around the waist. I love this figure. This is so good. If you jump on over to my buddy Man Cave Collective Reviews channel, you'll see he just went back out and purchased the original. And that's how it always is with these, is that you'll see guys will go out there and spend a lot of money on something, and then boom, as soon as you spend the money on it later on in the aftermarket, you see it gets re-released again. And this is one of those cases. Now, I will say that the original DC Direct version definitely or dc collectibles whatever it was definitely has some uh, nostalgia to it compared to this one but i can't wait to get this in hand so there he is from all angles you got the orange pants on in there from the arkham asylum so good there it is in package nice close-up with that face you can tell with the texture on the skin there as well so good spikes on the arms and there it is from the side and the back and he looks just like that artwork on the back there Except he does need those chains. That's the one thing that this one does not have is the chains hanging from his neck. And then, like I said, the one we did not know about, Ghost Maker from DC Future State. So interesting design. Like those baggy pants he's got right there. He's got the katanas, figure stand, and card, of course. So I don't know much about this DC Future State. I didn't read this particular storyline, but uh, this is definitely a very interesting design. Lots of sculpt on him. A little close up there of the face, which of course is just a mask, but again, that fabric on him looks really cool sculpted. There it is from all angles. He does have the cape on the back side too. The katana is hinted underneath him there in the sheaths. And there he is in package. So like I said, we did get the tease yesterday that these were coming, and I had no idea they were going to be day three, but here they are, day three, and you got your... Killer Croc, your Man Bat, and of course the Ghost Maker. It's really cool reveals for day three with three new figures from DC Multiverse and McFarlane Toys. Thank you, Todd. Hey everybody, who's looking forward to the Batman movie? And if you are, then we can get some cool toys here, right? Obviously, we've got the cool Pattinson Batman here that's going to be in the film. All these coming out that I'm going to show you in early 2022. Right, got the new costume, looks super good in there, beefed up, got a nice muscle tone in there. This one is going to be good on your shelf. But if you want to sort of expand beyond Batman, then we got a couple more. Obviously, we've got to get the villains, right? Who doesn't like the villains? But sometimes Catwoman, people fall in love with her. She sort of 
you have a love-hate relationship with her. She has a really good painted face. I mean, lots of sort of nice sort of makeup and subtlety on the eyes. And her articulation, I played with her before. She really moves around a lot. So if you're looking for a lot of flexibility, uh, she's and a lot of poseability, she's gonna be your figure there. And then who needs the bad villain? We've got the Riddler, obviously the bad one in the movie here uh, with that cool, quirky face of his sort of got masking tape and weird goggles on him um but he sort of moves around and then we've got he comes with a shovel and a stand up in there it's gonna look good and so if you get all three of those and then if you want to go even bigger you got batman but batman with batman without the bat cycle right so also you can get this one here he sits on it um gonna move around on it pretty good and this character will fit onto the bat cycle and then if you want even more because this isn't enough we've got a Walmart exclusive here right Walmart exclusive Batman now some of you who aren't too familiar might be saying why Batman in red well it was a simple reason for any of you paying attention to all the cool advertising that Warner Brothers was doing one of the big early pieces that caught a lot of attention was Jim Lee artist uh one of the best in the business did this cool poster in red and so what we've done is we've done the red version of it and when you take it out of the package you get to keep the background um so that you're going to get the background so you're going to have the statue and the background and the base so essentially you'll be doing a 3d version of that artwork so for some of you that like to collect uh sort of Jim Lee and or some eclectic stuff like the posters. This is the property, Walmart exclusive. But otherwise, here's your movie. We're all looking forward to it. Hope it turns out good and you guys love everything we're doing. So very interesting that Todd went into all kinds of detail on those Batman figures since they've been out in the stores already. And of course, there's way more than that. There's a lot of Robert Pattinson figures. There's the Catwoman unmasked figure as well. And then you got the statue size uh, in a gold figure of Batman and the regular black suit Batman and also in a Riddler. So all kinds of figures, but boom. And he shows us off that we are getting a tease that he will be doing the Black Adam movie as well for McFarlane Toys. So get ready to see The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, in action figure form for DC Multiverse. So there is your weekend recap from the Winter Showcase 2022 with Spawn on Day 1, Wave 3, Dark Knight's Metal Day 2 for DC Multiverse, and some Mega Figs on Day 3 for DC Multiverse. Kind of a weak weekend in my opinion. I thought he could have gone a little bit wider spread with this stuff, but I do love the Killer Croc and the Man Bat. Those are the two most awesome figures I've ever seen, and it's going to make me jump into McFarlane Toys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.